walking down this hall, you see a lot of pictures of Jordans and stuff like that. What happens when a new brand, actually, what happens when an old brand decides to come back and deliver a product that you've never seen before, but that is familiar and it looks a lot like something that's so popular that the trademark for that brand had to be fought in a court of law. The brand I'm talking about is Red Ball Jets. Now, the interesting thing about Red Ball Jets is the company was born in 1951. Um, if you look next to me, you'll see some facts about the company. But this new relaunch, I actually saw an ad on Facebook and I was like, man, that's an interesting looking company. They kind of look like Converse, but not really. The big noticeable red patch on it was a completely different thing. So what you have is a brand that was born around the same time as basketball shoes came into prominence. And now what you have is a brand that's coming back and they're introducing it via social media and a direct-to-consumer strategy. And I wanted to give the shoes a shot. So I was like, all right, let's order these and see what's up with them. Um, they arrived packaged in an eco enclosed, which if you're a new brand, you can actually go to eco enclosed and you can start to order your materials from eco enclosed as well. In other words, the packaging is recycled and uh, that's a little bit better for the environment. And I know sneaker culture doesn't like a big plastic bag for their shoes, but I haven't opened it, so I don't know what's in it or what it looks like. So let's get to the part where I open these so you guys can see what they look like just as much as I can. I don't even need these scissors. See if there's a tear tab over here, and there is. So easy to open. And the box looks great. Box looks great. So let's get to our discussion on RBJ Originals, the last original sneaker, Red Ball Jets. Let's get close up on this. So I'm definitely going to do an on foot with these because they are in my size. It's the 51 high. The box looks great. Um, it's printed on recycled materials, 100% recyclable. Uh, please recycle all packaging. Got to respect that. I love the logos around the box. These joints are heavy, but classic basketball shoes, especially this shoe, they made their version of the basketball shoe with a sturdy kind of outrigger around the midsole at the toe. So unlike a Converse where it is a double layer of rubber around the toe, this has a big sturdier piece. But I just wanted to look at the box and I'm going to do this again close up so you can see everything. But what I wanted to do was get the shoes out because the more I talk, you guys are like, dude, Red Ball Jets, one of one, thank you for shopping with us. Nice little you know, piece of paper there. And paper has the lines that are kind of found only in this box. Never a big box. I don't quite understand what that means. Found only in this box, never a big box. Oh, direct to consumer. I get it. And here is super clean, do not eat. They have a desiccant sticker back here at the back. I'm gonna pull these out. And I got a feeling. Nobody can really see what I'm doing here because it's so far down. Pulling these up just to see what's inside of the box with this. So we got our paper, we have a number of stickers and the stickers are dope. It's like a record label, a pizza. Once again, I'm gonna do this up close so you guys can see everything just to make sure you get a good look at it. And I'm gonna do it on foot. So four stickers so far, pull these joints up. And I am traditionally not like a gigantic fan of Converse style sneakers, but I was intrigued by this label because of this red ball jet that's on the side. And then the small tab back at the back where you have a piece of rubber and it has first quality red ball on the back jet. And then underfoot, you have that red ball. So it's distinguishable from this toe box, which reminds you a little bit of the shell toe Adidas. Red Ball Jets, the 51 gets its name from the year Red Ball Jets first launched. Now, 70 years, 
70 years later, a reissue of that classic sneaker takes flight. An original then, an original now. The 51 gets its name from the year Red Ball Jets first launched. Now, 70 years later, a reissue of that classic sneaker takes flight. An original then, an original now. Oh yeah, it's, it's actually a really clean shoe. Let me get close up so I can show you everything that's going on with it and then get to that on foot. It's always a little bit difficult to do a uh, close up of things, but I wanted to make sure I got this box in here for you guys to check out. The last original sneaker, the front of the box, 51 high, 51 high 02. This is a size 13, medium, I'm pretty sure that's at the 130 millimeter. I'm not sure. Slash black, and it has a UPC code. And then US men's 13, UK 12, Euro 47, and China, I think 31. Made in China. So it's made in China as well. That's your front of the box. Side. Hashtag RBJ Originals. The bottom where we get our information on it being recyclable. And then the side of the box where it opens. And we open it up and it says found only in this box. Never a big box. Which is interesting if they're going to truly stay a DTC brand. Something to think about. And here are our, our stickers. I like this one. And it matches the theme of the studio. Throw that one in the box. And there's a Red Ball Jets. It's another Red Ball Jets. A lot of branding opportunities for the company. And this one that's kind of dope. Looks like pepperoni, right? And let's get to the shoes. And the close-up here. Because we have what's... And I'm pushing is... When I push leather like this, you guys see me do this. It's to see if it's really like a polyurethane or if it's really a true leather. This feels more like a synthetic leather, but it is a tumbled version of a synthetic. And it goes up the eye stay, and that's already a difference maker between this shoe and your Converse shoe. Now, you have your rubber toe cap. This is because a canvas shoe, if somebody steps on it and you're playing basketball, it can rip your toenail off, man. So when you have this, when you see the shell toe Adidas and shoes like that, it's a bumper to guard against your toes being damaged. Hopefully people know that and that's just like common knowledge. Maybe I didn't even need to repeat it, but I love the look of this front of the shoe all the way around. And once again, there's the big Red Ball Jets logo right there. And what I like is the heel tab. Red Ball Jets up the heel in leather. And then it's around the top. The leather is around here. And then you have that Red Ball Jets. That's on that eyelet. And here's the bottom of the shoe. So now that we have those kind of looks, oh, the insole. Take that, throw that over there. Insole has jets on the inside. And it looks like a perforated kind of insole. Pulling this out because I am going to put these on now so you can have a look at it and see what it looks like. The tongue doesn't have anything on the front, but it does have the sides on the back. And I'm going to, oh, wow. Look at that. That is super cushion. Now, I haven't done a Converse on here. I, I do the Pro Leathers because they're my favorite shoes. But even the Pro Leather doesn't have a cushioning system like this. This drop-in insole is super thick at the heel where you need a lot of that impact. Obviously, you're not going to hoop in this thing. But... With that doggone thickness, man, uh, maybe? Nah? Eh, I don't know. I don't think so. Of course, nobody's going to hoop in that. And we get a look at our strobe, which is an additional piece of foam. Nah, it's just a kind of regular structure for a strobe. Now, let's get this back in here and get to the on foot for you guys that want to see. Oh, the aglets also have red ball jets on it. Does this one have anything different? No. It's a good looking shoe. Let's get to that on foot. All right, so we got our paper, and of course, you guys can see, I'm wearing brand black today. Just, uh, you know, I like my brand blacks. Usually though, I'm wearing something different all the time. But, let's get the brand blacks off, and let's get these red ball jets on. 
old school look. This is the brand Black Nebula, if you're wondering what shoe that is. There's a video for this on the channel. So let's see how these fit if they run small. And if they run small, these are definitely going for a giveaway. Because I don't return shoes. As a person that runs a sneaker shop, I, I just don't, I don't like returning. Especially when it's an online order. No, nah, they fit. They fit. Had to loosen them up over the instep. But they definitely fit. I need to loosen them up a lot, though, to get inside of the shoes. They almost make my feet feel smaller. That cushion's not bad, man. They feel pretty good. Now, I'm going to have to loosen them up to see if I really like the feel of them because I'm not a big fan of, you know, Converse, Chuck Taylors, and these type of shoes. But I really wanted to try these because I thought it was a distinctive look. Now, right now, they're still a little bit tight across my instep, so I'm going to have to fix that. I just don't want to spend a whole lot of time on that aspect. And I want to get you guys to that on foot as quickly as possible. Oh, it's cushy. It's cushy at the back. I like that. I actually do like the look of them. Even though I have a big foot, you know, I'm a size 13. Even though I have a big foot. These look kind of, they kind of fly, man. They are kind of fly. Huh. Oh, let me kind of back it up so you can see what it looks like from head to toe. One second. All right, so I'm making sure I get this look in. That's kind of a head to toe look. These pants stay folded for a long time and they got this weird bend to it, but it doesn't look bad at all, man. I actually like the shoes. They're quirky. They're fun, they're comfortable. They're comfortable, they're actually really comfortable. Hope you can see them, if not, I'll sit them up here so you can see them on this part of it. But I think that's it, man. I'm going to wrap this up with that. It's Red Ball Jets uh, High 51. It's not a bad shoe at all. Hopefully you guys appreciate that video. If you want to see more videos like this, then I need to start buying more shoes and doing more videos of stuff like this. But Shout out Red Ball Jets and uh, great shoe. Packaging came, everything was good. That's it. See you guys on the next one. Peace.